We are back with Chuck Norris. He's here to also talk about a new movie that he's a big fan of, as am I, and it's called The Last Ounce of Courage. Here's a little clip from it. If you're a Muslim, you want to pray to Allah in the middle of the town square. By all means, please. It's one of your rights. If you're Jewish, you want to display your menorah and blow your shofar, go ahead and accept my admiration for standing up for what you believe in. But don't tell me and the majority of us that believe in Jesus Christ that we don't have the right to celebrate the day of his birth. Joining Chuck Norris and me is the star of the movie, Marshall T. Marshall, welcome. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. I had an opportunity to see a screening of this uh, film earlier this summer, and I'm telling you, it is a powerful movie that just challenges people to understand what's happened to this country, our rights as, 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 as Americans, to speak our minds. Absolutely. What motivated you to be part of this project? It's very simple, sir. Uh, faith, family, freedom. That's mm -hmm. what the movie stands for. It is about our right uh, to say what's on our mind, every single solitary person, to worship as we all please, and to also support our military that is out there every single solitary day making sure that we're safe. You know, one of the things that impressed me about the film is that it doesn't try to say that everybody ought to uh, be Christians or that everybody move out of the way and let the Christians have all the, the, the space. It says, look, everybody ought to be able to freely worship. Just don't let the Christians be the one group that gets shoved off the public square. Well, that's true. Go ahead, Marshall. No, but, well, you know, I, I believe that very strongly. I mean, I, when you see every day that people are allowed to worship as they want to, and it's openly acknowledged by everybody. Our, our government, for instance, says you have the right. However, when it does come down to Christians expressing what they feel or having their crosses up, which are being challenged every single solitary day, we're told we don't have the right. Our children can't pray in church anymore. They don't have the right to the Pledge of Allegiance. Why not pledge allegiance to the flag? Because there's enough people out there putting their butts on the line to make sure that we're safe. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck, there aren't many things that get the uh, Chuck Norris seal of approval. That's a pretty rare uh, gift that you give. You've given this movie the Chuck Norris seal of approval. Yeah, so well, why? Only other time was Mike Huckabee. I yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw, you know, I saw a screening of it like you did, yeah. and I was so taken by it. I said, this movie, every American, man, woman, and child, must see this movie. And, you know, I have, like I say, I have nothing to do with this movie. But the thing is, I, I really was impassioned by it. And he, he gives a performance at the end of this movie that made the hair back of my head stand up because he, when he starts talking about freedom and the lack of it that's going on in our country, it's and he, probably the best speech I've ever seen on film. And, and he did a, I mean, and plus it was unscripted. That was, was amazing. He came, <laughs> he talked from his heart and that was really quite an amazing I want to watch a little piece of that again. Here we go from Last Ounce of Courage. 400 years ago, our forefathers left the religious oppression of another land to build this one. And the first thing they did, the first thing they did was to put a cross on the shores of the Atlantic. But it was more than a cross. It was a symbol that in this land, a citizen has the freedom to worship as he or she desires or the freedom not to worship at all. It mm -hmm. is a power, and that's just a little snippet mm -hmm. of it. But Chuck, I agree with you. Mm. It is one of those films that if you love our military, you're going to love this film because it honors the men and women of the military. If you love our freedom. If you love our freedom. And if you believe that your right to stand for your convictions is still a fundamental American right, this will have you just standing in the theater and cheering and throwing your popcorn all over your neighbors. Uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Governor, if I may, yeah, uh, when you talk about freedom, it's, that's a very, very important word because it's not about democratic Republican or independent freedoms. It's about all freedoms that we as Americans enjoy every single solitary day. In some cases, we're taking them for granted. And all one has to do is take a day like I did yesterday and walk down to the 9-11 memorial and see those names mm -hmm. and recognize that freedom is very fragile. Unless you're willing to stand up for it, then you're willing to fall for nothing. You know, if there are people who think that all of this is just rooted in fiction, uh, let us be reminded yeah. that the 9-11 cross, that cross that was made 
uh, really in the heat of the furnace of the aftermath of the Twin Towers falling, uh, that cross, you see it on your screen, uh, was an inspiration to so many of the workers Guess and the rest. who formed that? Yes, tell us who formed that, because I think that's at a powerful point. People that formed that, first of all, God formed that. Yeah, he really did. God created that heat, and he joined it together to let us know that we will never, he is always there for us every single solitary day, and sometimes we forget to reach inside. He's always there. All you have to do is just reach in and ask him to come out, and he'll talk to you. Mm. You know, I, I, I've, I don't claim to be the greatest Christian in the world because I've made a lot of mistakes. I'm the one that has to live with those mistakes. Carlos has been a great... Uh, My real name is Carlos, by the way. <laughs> I did it again. I'm, I'm sorry. I did it again. That's all right. Again. I did it that just again. means you're a real good friend. That's what that means. <laughs> okay. Chuck. <laughs> Thank you. Chuck has supported me. His lovely wife, Gina, and my wife, Lindy, we have spent so much time together and shared so much together. We have seen his work together. We have been to Iraq together. Mm -hmm. 18,600 individual troops we spent time with, you know, and it's amazing. Every one of them went, thanked us. I've never heard so many God bless you's and thank you and thank you for coming. And why are you here was the one question. Remember that? And, mm -hmm. and uh, Chuck said, because you're here. Mm. Well, I want to thank both of you for being here. But most importantly, I want to thank you for the involvement in the, the project. And I hope that all over the country, people will go see Last Ounce of Courage. It opens this coming Friday in theaters in 600 cities across America. I hope you have to wait in line a long time to get a ticket because the theaters will be packed to see a wonderful film that will encourage and inspire you. Chuck Norris, Marshall Teague, thank great you. to see you.